It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talking. Today's episode, I'm going to talk with the owner of the Fourth Down Show. How are you doing today? What's going on, Brandon? I'm well. I'm well, thank God. How, how's everything with you, man? It's going good. Can you talk about how you got started with the Fourth Down Show? Yeah, absolutely. Um, to be quite honest with you, it all started mainly around the beginning of, like, towards the pandemic. And, you know, pretty much noticing that, you know, we were probably going to have to figure out some type of hobby and develop some type of skill set, you know, while everybody was pretty much at home, especially here in New York where I'm located. And, you know, we were we were on lockdown for so long that, you know, you know, some people were, were learning how to do some new home improvement. Some people were learning new languages. A lot of people were just like going on hikes. It was one of those crazy, weird alternate reality type things and for me you know I said let me let me go with something that I know pretty well and that be you know talking sports and you know I totally 1000% went into it blind um didn't know how to photoshop didn't know how to record myself on any you know platform didn't know anything about putting a video on YouTube and I pretty much just sat read watched videos listened to other podcasts and kind of adapted and little by little, I mean, I just, I kind of saw a vision and I, you know, I said, you know, let's just start somewhere. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can look how it looks now, but eventually it'll look totally different. You know, down the road and the COVID tracing. And I just said, you know what, let's, let's just stop waiting and let's just, let's just, let's just do it. And I'm still learning. Um, it's a unique experience. You know, you kind of, you got to understand that a lot of it is a mental kind of game. You got to understand that, you know, success isn't overnight and you have to take it, you know, project by project and give yourself enough mental, you know, peace at mind, understanding that this is a hobby, this isn't a job. So that is the battle I've been battling with it as of late but that's pretty much how it was created and we're still going man what segments do you cover in your podcast um right now we're covering a weekly follow-up of the nfl so every thursday there will be a video out to discuss how the prior week went um every thursday we also live stream the game that is on prime time for the thursday night segment of the nfl um usually you'll catch me on there with a few buddies just kind of going over what's going on with the game um and we kind of like on our instagram page like to go over quite a few big developments in the league and that's pretty much it so far what do you plan to accomplish in your podcast moving forward what i would like to eventually have eventually is a studio and I would like for it to be a little bit more grown in terms of more voices on the podcast. I don't want to have just solely mine. I want to be able to kind of hear more opinions. That's kind of where I want to take the podcast. I want to be able to have my opinion, but I don't want my opinion to be first and final. I just want to put it out there, marinated amongst others. And there's so many people who are at home and they express themselves a specific way about what they're seeing on their on their television screen about their team. And they, they don't have a platform to, 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 to express themselves. So that's where I come in. And I want to let you just tell me how mad you are at your team, how happy you are, how frustrated, and so on and so on. How have you used this platform that you've built to express that? Well... The one project that I've decided to kind of give this a test run is our Thursday night live stream during the game. So it's one game that is, you know, airing for the evening. And we pretty much just get on and we kind of just discuss what's going on in the game, what's developing, kind of halftime, you know, thoughts, end of the game thoughts. And um, it's open 
for anyone to hop on in. And um, we're going to give that a test run for the next few weeks and see how that develops. What are some of your future plans for the fourth down show? One idea that I really want for the fourth down show is I want to have a segment where I can have fans without me, you know, on the, the show to kind of go and express themselves about what they've experienced. And I want them to just go and go on their tangent and find a, a medium with the next fan. And for it to just go in a little bit of a round robin amongst others. And I want people to see that. I want to eventually be able to get to a place where we can maybe interview people outside of bars, interview people outside of stadiums. And that's kind of where I want to get to. I don't want, I don't want it to eventually be stuck where we're at right now. I want it to get to a place where the show's on the go. And we can find people who are viewing the show outside or by the stadium who just came out of the stadium who have that initial reaction, that true in-depth feeling of, of either glory or dismay. That's a wonderful idea. Speaking about interviews, can you talk about who you've interviewed in your past? So right now, as of right now, I've only interviewed a few college mates of mine. I haven't interviewed anyone of note in the past. I was on a prior podcast a few years ago and I interviewed a former linebacker for the San Diego Chargers, at the time San Diego Chargers, Sean Merriman. And what we interviewed, and we, uh, the basis of our interview and what we went over is that he was getting into NASCAR as a black man. And that interview pretty much was just his experience and how he was brought the opportunity to get into NASCAR as a black man. And this is after his football career. What other things do you look forward to accomplishing in your podcast moving forward? Uh, what I would like to accomplish would probably be where I want to join forces with other podcasts. I would like to kind of have like somewhat of a cross platform where myself and other hosts can kind of come together for maybe like some type of project every week where we can kind of bounce ideas or have some type of uh, recap or, or preview or just prediction, something along those lines, or just a place to vent. And um, that's kind of what I want to start, you know, networking with uh, is other podcasts and kind of where they're at. What advice would you have upcoming future podcasts looking to get into football or sports in general? Uh, I'd, I told my, 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 my ears would be wide open. I, I have no reason to say no to any of these kind of opportunities because what I'm doing is, is, at, is at the most peak of startup as possible. We're at the most earliest stages of where we will possibly want to end up. So any opportunity that comes knocking, I don't see why I would decline anything. This would absolutely be something I would definitely listen to. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? So you can find us at our Twitter page at Fourth Down Show. Um, we're more active on our Instagram page at the Fourth Down Show. So the Instagram page has the at the. So our Instagram uh, our Instagram page has that. Our Twitter page doesn't have the. So it's at Fourth Down Show Twitter, and at the Fourth Down Show Instagram. There's that's pretty much where you can find us daily. Are you also located on YouTube too? Yes. If you just type in the fourth down show, you'll find our page directly right there. And you'll see our live streams, our, you know, previous to the season and every Thursday's live stream. Thank you again for your interview and best of luck with your podcast, The Fourth Down Show. You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at talk underscore Brandon. And you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again for your interview and best of luck in your business with the Fourth Down Show. Thanks again, Brandon. You've been watching Brandon Sports Talk. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to Brandon Sports Talk on social media and on YouTube.